Everyone knows that green is the color of St. Patrick's Day, right? Except until 1798, it definitely wasn't. Green wasn't St. Patrick's color. Depictions of Patrick going back to the 13th century put him in robes of blue. In fact, blues have been associated with Ireland as well as its patron saint throughout history. Henry VIII's break with Catholicism birthed the Irish coat of arms, which features a gold harp on a blue backdrop. And a light shade of sky blue used by George III for the chivalric order of St. Patrick is still known as St. Patrick's blue. Plaza's Aaron, the Irish equivalent of Uncle Sam, was sometimes depicted wearing blue robes. And even today, blue is used in some official capacities. For example, copies of the Irish Constitution are bound in it. This is all likely to come as a surprise to anyone whose knowledge of the colors of Ireland derives from St. Patrick's Day. In Dublin and Galway, New York, Chicago and Boston, and cities all over the world, St. Patrick's Day is marked by green. And green does have a significant presence in Irish history. Green's an easy descriptor of the island itself. It's not called the Emerald Isle because of the gemstone, which isn't naturally produced in Ireland. And according to legend, St. Patrick used the green shamrock to explain the trinity to the Irish. But green's displacement of blue as Ireland's color in the popular mind didn't come from the Irish landscape. Green became associated with religious and national pride and grew into the color of rebellion, even as St. Patrick's Day itself morphed from a religious holiday to a celebration of Irish heritage. March 17th was fixed as St. Patrick's Day on the liturgical calendar in the early 1600s, though feasts commemorating Patrick were observed in Ireland as early as the 9th century. Because St. Patrick's Day occurs during Lent, it became an excuse to be free of Lenten prohibitions, and it became customary to wear shamrocks in one's lapel to mark the holiday. Can you guess what day it is, everybody? In 1641, a Catholic uprising saw an army out of Kilkenny use a green flag with a gold harp. But it was the rebellion of 1798 that most helped tie Green to the idea of Irish rebellion against British rule. The fight of 1798 only lasted five months, but it was an early push by the Irish for a Republican government, inspired by the recent examples of America and France. Just as French revolutionaries wore distinctive caps, the Society of United Irishmen had their own unique clothing at a time when military uniforms took on a symbolic importance. A police report described the Irish rebel uniform as a dark green coat with green and white striped trousers and a shamrock as the rebel's device. The rebellion of 1798 inspired the wearing of the green, a street ballad sung on the tune of an older melody. The most popular set of lyrics uses the shamrock as a symbol of Irish identity and explicitly ties it and the color green to St. Patrick, himself a symbol of Ireland in the song. This version of the lyric was written by the playwright Dion Boussico, who combined defiance of the British with resignation. The final verse in his version is a call for immigration to the United States. And it was in America that the link between Irish identity and green was reinforced, as immigrants adopted the color to show pride in their heritage. Back in the home country, the blue long associated with St. Patrick was falling out of favor as the divide between Ireland and Britain widened. The religious conflict in Ireland gave green another association. It was embraced by the Catholics as a way to stand apart from the orange-coated Protestants. I want you guys to give me examples of things that Catholics and Protestants have in common. Oh, I'm actually drawing a blank here, to be honest. The white of peace separating the two colors on the modern Irish flag was a long time coming. Today, despite what St. Patrick's Day decorations and a plethora of sports uniforms might suggest, Ireland has no national color. Whatever hostilities some had to the blue used under British rule, the Irish government used it and the gold harp in the national coat of arms. But it's green that lingers in the popular imagination and continues to find use. The Irish Times tied the green of St. Patrick's Day to Ireland's environmental efforts in 2023.